Songs for the Sangha, I really like that title because it feels like we are a Sangha here that are making the album. It feels like we've come together here in Australia from all corners of the planet. Spencer came from England and Joby from Canada and Manos from uh, Kathmandu via Santa Cruz. And, and Metan and me, we, we anyway all over the place. <laughs> so it feels like we are the Sangha we are a Sangha, which Sangha is another word for spiritual kind of community, spiritual family. And all of us created this album together, which has become very colorful. onto the record and at uh, the same time making those sounds part of the music um, and something that enhances the music it doesn't distract but actually creates an atmosphere which you are invited into and part of and uh, <clears throat> of course it's the most unusual album I've ever done because of that Hi. <laughs> what are you doing there? Ah, what I'm doing is well, I'm trying to set some beautiful notes that I could put in this new album. You know, so the nature here is so strong. So I'm getting trying to get some. I'm asking a blessing to this beautiful forest around us to give us some inspiration. Bless the world. There's also beautiful mantras on there that I feel have never been given this kind of music, like Sarvesham has. It's a mantra that's very well known, you know, very many yoga lessons start with this mantra. It's a very beautiful prayer of may everybody experience peace and, and auspiciousness and fullness, abundance and health and that has been somehow it just manifested on this recording that there is a lira which has a kind of an Arabic vibe to it and then Spencer's piano which of course is very Western and then the and then the mantra sung by a German so it feels like a very kind of international um, coming together of different flavors. It's a very new sound and I'm so happy to, to, to have seen it unfold in this album. Spencer is an amazing genius on the piano and on the keyboard. Joby is an incredible genius on everything, production and, and both are such beautiful, beautiful people, really loving souls, so totally in tune with us. And by us, I mean Mutan and me and Mano. So we're just like this really very happy gathering of people to, to create this music. Strong. 
Hi guys. Hey. How are you doing, man? Awesome. Good. How's the Australian tsunami weather treating you? Look at the tan. Yes. Fantastic. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful tan. Come to Australia for two weeks yeah. in the summer and go home the same color <laughs> that I arrived in. <laughs> but that's okay. The warmth has been beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's fresh. It's not dry. It's lovely. It's really lovely. Yeah. And um, and just for me coming here and, and, and working with Dave and Matan, Manos and Spencer is is um, it's a beautiful experience because it, it's it really feels like a, a full circle for me in my life in my personal life I 20 years ago and some um, knew, knew Spencer in England and um, looked up to him in some ways, although I didn't know him very well, like a big brother, you know, some somebody that, that I, I aspired to, yeah. you know, and so for me, coming back, you know, 20 odd years later, and, and, and really being able to work with him, and also with Matan and Deva and, and yourself, Manos, um, to, to create this beautiful music all together in this beautiful environment, um, is, is a real gift. And yeah, I feel, and I feel, gift, gift uh, is the word. It, I feel very, very spoilt. I feel very lucky, and um, and uh, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to sharing the beauty that we've created here. You know, we've created uh, a beautiful blend of of Deva and Miten and Monos's songs. Um, some of the stuff has been influenced by what we did live last year, yeah. which is nice. Some of the, Spen and I have, have brought in some of our own stuff uh, to what you guys have brought to the table. Um, I'm really excited about how um, we've taken potentially very new age music and sort of infused um, well, especially from Spencer, like, you know, replacing the, 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 the classic drone that you get in, in New Age music with, with beautiful textures cross between classical, jazz, um, drawing from all sorts of influences has made it very, very, very uh, interesting. Uh, Spen, yeah, you, know, you, have, you have worked with some of the most uh, amazing musicians like John Amitraz, John... John Martin, John Martin. Yeah. so for so many years and um, hmm. well John Martin my, my, yeah and my my question is like how does it f feel to coming back to you know the music that's so so simple like you know, it's in a way it's, it's, it's well, actually the best song has a couple scores yeah but the best music I mean essentially everything in technical terms everything is is you have a key center and you head to it. That's it. So in a way, you can see even the best classical works, they are essentially about one chord, about getting to it. And it's that adventure and that journey. And that, I hope, in what we've done over the last few weeks, we've, we, we've brought some of that. So instead of just saying, well, here's plonk, and it's just a sound. The sound on itself is just sound, but it's the sound in relation to a kind of a journey that, that then that becomes it becomes music. I mean, music is a it's not a language in the old sense, but it's a form of expression. It's a you know you go on a you go on a journey, and that's what I've certainly found doing this. It's just the the, the 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 freedom to do that. It's wonderful. <laughs>
radiance makes the spheres to dance. It's beautiful and it's raining and Mitten is just right there smiling. It's just amazing, beautiful, creative space. And uh, what I want to ask you, Mitten, is, you know, the song we are recording right now, Draw Near. Mm -hmm. What's what's anything you would like Draw to say? It's a, it's a poem from the Sufi mystic Rumi. Many people know Rumi from his poetry. And Osho loved the Sufi people. And uh, he often spoke about them. and. Uh, Whenever he did, he would quote different uh, poems. And this song, Draw Near, Draw Near, came from one of those discourses. It was composed by one of his uh, famous disciples, Anubhava, who uh, was a great singer and musician in the ashram, now known as Peter McKenna. Um, I always wanted to sing it, uh, and I always wanted to to find a way to share something of the simplicity of it, but at the same time to not oversimplify the, the song. Because in Pune we made very simple songs, very simple melodies, because we wanted to sing and it was a very innocent, childlike, uh, full of wonder experience. So we weren't too interested in creating anything interesting intellectually, musically. So very simple, but there's something so deep and so rich about the Rumi poem, and so refreshing, just like this rain. So uh, that's that's what I can tell you about "Draw Near, Draw Near." And we have such a beautiful version of it. I'm so happy. It's very uh, mature, and uh, it it reflects Osho's people at in their 60s like me as opposed to uh, young young uh, innocent people going to India for the first time and experiencing such amazing changes of lifestyle and uh, making the simple songs and now we can sing the same song 30 years later and sing it as adults and as uh, mature musicians and, and people who uh, have lived a little <laughs> And I think it 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 will relate, and many people will relate to to this piece of music. You like it too, no? Oh, I love it. Yeah, me too. Man. I love it so much. Just the word, draw near, draw near. Draw near, draw near. It's like yes. calling people. I will whisper, whisper in, in your okay. ear the name. It's like a secret, you know. Yeah. The name whose radiance makes the spheres to dance. Wow. You know. So. Uh, yeah, it's very, very strong. Really. Yeah, it's strong. Yeah. Somebody's got a secret to tell, you know, and uh, we are we're trying to uh, share that secret musically. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful man. Okay. And we have a great, beautiful, great, great space, huh? Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. The place. The name <laughs> Let's see the studio. It's not a regular studio. What do you think? Devalina is making some butter chai. <laughs> butter chai. <laughs> it's a Tibetan butter chai. It's like giving back to the family because uh, all the people who are watching this probably who love us. Uh, and, and give us so much of your love uh, it's our way of giving back to you and so I'm sure I speak for all of us when I say that uh, we uh, we're very grateful mm. Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Parabrahma 
for the record is, picture this, uh, a river about 50 feet wide of, of, of dark liquid chocolate, okay, <laughs> okay. Yes, you're not done yet, don't you? And then, but down, down, the, down the middle of the river, right, is this beautiful molten gold, little, little line of gold, organic, organic, organic gold that's, yeah. that, that's also melting and, and weaving down the river with kangaroos <laughs> jumping around. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the concept. It's right. raw, raw chocolate. Raw chocolate. Raw chocolate. Raw chocolate. <laughs> <laughs>